And it's recording. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us in this new virtual format for the um, ESS. Actually, wait. <laughs> <laughs> right, take two. Yes, take two. Okay. You'll be here all day. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to UC Berkeley. My name is Ahad Rof, and I'm a senior, electrical engineering and computer science major and physics minor. I'm a Bay Area local, and my hobbies are watching anime, reading sci-fi novels, and hiking around the beautiful California hills. My passion is in robotics and control systems, and during my time at Berkeley, I've been involved in everything from UC Berkeley's award-winning solar vehicle racing team to developing novel low-cost prosthetic arms. I'm currently doing research in centimeter scale robots that can walk, jump, and fly. And after graduation, I plan to continue my research through a PhD at Stanford. I work as a peer advisor for the Engineering Student Services Center, and me and seven other peer advisors have gathered here today to tell you what Berkeley's all about, to share our own experiences and passions about the Berkeley experience, and to show you why Berkeley could be a great fit as you explore your options in higher education. We'll begin with a welcome video to help you all feel at home with what it's like to be at Berkeley. See you back soon. What happens here isn't magic. It just feels that way because there is no telling what will occur when people, unsatisfied with the way things are, have the courage to imagine a better way and the freedom to turn what could be into what will. That takes bold thinking, disruptive ideas, and an amazing array of perspectives, people, and intellectual pursuits. But it's hard to capture something that won't stand still. That's Berkeley. Berkeley. Built by the people, for the people, Founded and forever inspired by those who had an unstoppable drive to build a new state on the Western Edge, we embraced the radical idea of a public university and never looked back. Hundreds of thousands of lives changed for people who then go out and change the lives of millions more in our state, our nation, and the world. That's Berkeley. Taking on today's biggest challenges. A revolutionary treatment for malaria? Check. Unlocking the secrets of the universe? Been there. Preserving Mark Twain for prosperity? Done that. We are always one step ahead. And sometimes that step is too big for words alone to describe. We express. We interpret. We reach further. We celebrate. And we are celebrated for our long tradition of untraditional excellence. Driven by a deep desire to do better, to do good. That's Berkeley. Life shaping, world changing, future building. Berkeley. 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 Welcome back. We will now dive deep into all the aspects of Berkeley Engineering. To begin with, we have a look at Berkeley Engineering's threefold mission. As the number one public university in the world, UC Berkeley takes pride in the exceptional breadth and depth of its course curriculum. Berkeley classes are designed to teach undergraduates not only the theory, but the applications. They're also designed to challenge students' creativity, and Berkeley engineers learn to combine interdisciplinary schools of thought and rigorous engineering methodologies that make them top performers in the technological landscape. Berkeley is designed to teach students that no problem worth solving is easy. Homework sets challenge students to explore exciting extensions of course material, and students interested in undergraduate research can bump heads with the best and the brightest towards society's most pressing problems and the cutting edge of technology. 
considering 2018 to 19 alone, UC Berkeley earned over $750 million in new awards and collaborations, and all of that goes back to the students towards pushing innovation forwards. Students at Berkeley also learn how to use their knowledge to benefit society. Over 5,300 UC Berkeley undergraduates engage in off-campus public service projects every year, and Cal's Public Service Center engages more than 200 different student groups. Via designing low-cost prosthetic arms, or developing a robotic testing lab to diagnose 1,000 plus COVID-19 patients a day. UC Berkeley strives to make an impact on the world. I'll now pass the ballot on to Amber, our resident civil engineering peer advisor, who will tell you a bit more about the different departments within this College of Engineering. Hi, my name is Amber Chow and I'm a senior civil engineering studying at UC Berkeley. Besides being a peer advisor, I'm also the president of American Society of Civil Engineers and also heavily involved in Concrete Canoe. I also had an experience doing summer internships and studied abroad in Iceland uh, two year, years ago during my summer. Now I'm gonna explain some statistics about the UC Berkeley College of Engineering. Here in the College of Engineering, we have 3,600 undergraduate students. We offer 11 single majors and minors across eight departments. We also offer joint majors to students that begin as freshmen and they can declare after completing two majors here. You can also cross enroll um, another major program from other colleges and we call those simultaneous degrees. Berkeley Engineering offers majors here in the following. Um, Berkeley is proud to offer the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science program as a single major, emphasizing the cross-disciplinary nature of the two fields and giving students in both specializations the opportunity to explore the interconnect between hardware and software. This major comprises of around 1,200 students and is the biggest major within the College of Engineering, followed by Mechanical Engineering and Bioengineering. Students who want to explore different areas of engineering can also apply as undeclared and which will allow to spend which will allow students to spend their first years uh, in like branching on into different courses within engineering. We also offer a very special program called MET, which stands for Management, Entrepreneurship and Technology. This combines a selected major from the College of Engineering and the undergraduate business administration major from the Haas School of Business. Please note that you cannot transfer into the program unless you get admitted into the program as a freshman. These programs can be exciting often for those who are interested in the intersection between engineering and business. Berkeley is proud of its status as the number one university for engineering according to the 2020 US News and World Report. All our engineering majors are ranked in the top 10 of their class and almost every program ranks in the top five. This breadth forms the core of engineering at Berkeley excellence. Students are surrounded by the best and brightest across the spectrum, allowing every undergraduate to participate in a dynamic interdisciplinary collaborations from day one. Be you an electrical engineer or material scientist or even a humanities major, you'll find Berkeley ranking among the best programs in the country. This environment and universal accomplishment gives Berkeley its prestigious name, both in the US and internationally. Underlying our superior department rankings are world renowned faculty. Berkeley Engineering is home to 227 faculty members of which 82 hold distinguished professorships, 78 are members of the National Academy of Engineering, 24 have received Cal's distinguished teaching award, and six have been awarded the prestigious Turin Award in Computer Science. As a Berkeley student, you'll have first-person access to these famed professors. In my time in Berkeley, I've taken courses that um, where their textbook is written by them, and you've been able to schedule one-on-one -on -one office hours with them and receive their experience mentorship on everything from getting into undergraduate research to exploring industry options for what you're interested in. Berkeley makes these resources available to you and it teaches you how to grasp them to your future, to your development. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Rishra who will talk about more about the overview of Berkeley Engineering. Hello everyone. My name is Vishrat Rana and I'm a second year studying industrial engineering and operations research. Uh, I'm an international student myself. I grew up in Dubai. 
So coming to Berkeley was a huge change for me. Uh, but so far, the journey has been thoroughly enriching. Uh, of course, my classes are great. I'm learning stuff that I really enjoy. But more than that, being involved in a competition team, engineering competition team on campus called Formula Electric at Berkeley and the uh, student group for my major, I've just developed a community with on campus that I hold very close to my heart. Uh, this summer, I'll be interning at Tesla on a supply chain team. So I'm super excited about putting my theoretical coursework into action um, in the real world. Right, as we continue with our overview of Berkeley Engineering, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about what our graduates do and what resources Berkeley Engineering provides uh, to help achieve that. Here's just a few stats that prove that with the Berkeley Engineering education, our students are prepared to tackle uh, the world's problems head on. 60% of our graduates go to full-time employment, 27% of our graduates uh, go to graduate school for further studies, and uh, our graduates are also very well compensated for their time at Berkeley, with the median salary being uh, in six figures. Home to where most of Berke uh, the Bay Area's innovation happens, Berkeley is also proud to uh, produce the second most number of venture capitalist-backed undergraduate entrepreneurs among all universities. As we talk about entrepreneurship and innovation, Berkeley is designed from the ground up to promote a culture of innovation and interdisciplinary collaboration. Uh, with the Sataja Certificate in Entrepreneurship and Technology, we develop student entrepreneurs through startup development services at Skydeck and the Citrus Foundry. Uh, we in instill skills of product development and design among our engineers through the Certificate in Design Innovation offered through the Jacobs Institute for Design Innovation. Uh, in fact, I've taken a few classes at the Jacobs Institute, and in one of the classes, my team and I developed uh, an all-weather jacket that could inflate with an additional insulating layer of air in case it got colder uh, during the day. And having access to the maker spaces within the Jacobs Institute to work on the project right after class was very, very enriching, and it was a great experience. So Berkeley's campus, of, uh, Berkeley's campus offers four maker spaces, and three of them are located within the engineering quad, so about a two-minute walk from each other. These facilities are home to 3D printers, CNC mills, metal shops, electrical benches, and all the prototyping and fabrication technologies an engineer could ever desire. Uh, these resources are also devoted to specific courseworks. For example, the Introduction to Robo uh, Robotics course at Berkeley has its own dedicated robotics lab. Uh, it's dedicated just for a two-course series uh, offered on campus. Berkeley also makes sure that its engineers are well-equipped to tackle the world's problems. Uh, every Berkeley student gets a free license to industry-grade development tools like Adobe Creative Cloud, Autodesk Fusion 360, Mathematica, MATLAB, and Office 365. Uh, we also offer laptop lending programs to students whose current setups cannot handle the engineering rigor. Uh, the, en the Open Computing Facility is a student-run server cluster open entirely free to uh, students that offers free printing and website hosting services. Uh, for students interested in machine learning and big data, the Berkeley Research Computing Group also offers high performance clusters. Uh, all these software resources ensure that Berkeley engineers are never left wanting for tools uh, and allowing them to concentrate on problems that, that really matter. Um, all these resources allow Berkeley engineers to make a difference in the world uh, right after graduation. We are proud that our alumni and professors have gone on to win uh, the Forbes 30 Under 30 Awards for their distinguished achievements in fields from computer science to robotics to healthcare. Uh, eventually, the bottom line is that as an undergraduate student, you will not only be surrounded by this culture of innovation and change, you will be able to partake in it yourself and leave a mark to the world. As a public university, uh, UC Berkeley takes great pride in opening its doors for leading this global change to students, regardless of background. Uh, particularly, we're proud to provide educational services where financial backgrounds are not a determining factor. About two thirds of our undergraduate students receive financial aid and nearly two thirds of our graduates uh, graduate with no loan debts at all. Uh, Berkeley is also home to more Pell Grant students than all Ivy League schools combined and nearly 23% of our students come from families with household incomes of $45,000 or less. Uh, in addition, thanks to the Blue and Gold Opportunity Plan, 
uh, eligible California families with annual incomes less than $80,000 pay no tuition at all after grants and scholarships. In fact, 38% of Berkeley undergraduates receive grants and scholarships in excess of UC system-wide tuition and fees and thus pay nothing for tuition out of pocket. Now, I'll pass on the baton to Nick, one of our mechanical engineering peer advisors, who will tell you about what the engineering student services offer. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nick, uh, and I'm a third year Mechie uh, engineering student here at Berkeley. <clears throat> on campus, I'm involved in Greek life, uh, the Honor Society for Mechanical Engineering, research, and working at the gym as well as here. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about ESS and what it has to offer to Berkeley engineers. Uh, so firstly, you guys should know that it is the home for academic and advising support services for all Cal engineers. All right. So in terms of academic support, students will have access to a team of advisors who will work with students to ensure appropriate progress in their academic paths. Team of peer advisors who will help fellow students in questions related to course selection, change of college, and student life in general is also available. And besides, this ES, besides the ESS, there's also the CAEE, which hosts tutoring sessions for students and also conducts ap academic workshops. And now uh, just to talk a little bit more about the ESS's professional development programs, they have a large focus on professional development. And throughout the semester, we usually offer several programs. Um, some examples are etiquette dinners where you'll learn how to properly eat uh, in going into like a business meeting, as well as conduct uh, my favorite workshop, LinkedIn and, head and uh, cupcakes and headshots, where basically take a LinkedIn photo and you get a free cupcake act afterwards. In addition to that, we have tons of career fairs that have many large and attractive employers that will always come by. So that's always great. And now I'm going to hand it over to Afton, who is going to tell you more about the specific programs and services that the Engineering Student Services Center offers. Hey, guys, what's up? My name is Afton Marilyn, and I am an electrical engineering computer sciences major here at UC Berkeley. I'm also a peer advisor for this year. And... Um, so if you're wondering what's behind me, it's Atlanta, Georgia, ATL, and that's where I was born and had a good times there. Uh, I came to the Bay senior year of high school, and I won't talk about everything in between because it's a long list of places I live. But um, today I will talk to you about different opportunities we have through the engineering student services. And one of them are uh, a podcast. So in the podcast, we kind of just discuss different things to do. Uh, for instance, we have a not-so-secret guide to being a Berkeley engineer. So in that podcast, we talk about different summer opportunities as well as things to do during the fall and the spring semesters here at Berkeley. Uh, we also we have a newsletter, so it's sent out every Monday during the fall and the spring semesters. And I know my advisor sends out her own one as well. So uh, I kind of just look at all the different things going on and different news, as well as I've gotten like uh, opportunities for scholarships as well through the newsletter, because you never know what's going through it. And just different things that are happening within your major too, that you can stay caught up on as well. Alrighty, so the next thing we have is Prep and Tea Prep. I'm a little biased because I was a part of Prep and I just had a good time. Uh, so essentially in the program, it was three weeks right before school started, and we just uh, discussed uh, different ways of leadership as well as um, just getting ready for the rigor of UC Berkeley. So I was a part of the CS track, and so we did computer programming, and if you were part of any other track, you would do uh, chem. And um, as well as all of us, we reviewed math concepts and just things that would help us get through our general education requirements. Uh, but it's just a good way to meet people. Honestly, uh, the friends that I made in prep, we still go strong today. Those are my homies, my bloods, and we just have a good time. And it, it just builds a tight knit community. You can ask them for anything, even the, uh, the administration administrators of prep as well. Tiffany and Marvin, they're great people. Always will help you if you need some help. And I recommend it. And T preps for transfers and preps for uh, admitted undergraduates. And you should have a good time, yeah. 
uh, it's all about connections here at Berkeley. Um, it could be tough going to college and just not having your support system that you're used to at home. And especially like the first semester, you're kind of getting used to being an adult and being on your own. And it could be tough to add classes into the mix and whatever nonsense is happening at Berkeley. So uh, we have uh, psychologists on staff and um, there's a bigger staff at the Tang Center, which is all the way on Shattuck. But we do offer a remote satellite office here at the ESS. So if you need anyone to talk to uh, and you feel like you can go to your friends or even uh, your advisor, just anybody, like there are still some options and you should uh, you shouldn't feel the shame to take advantage of these options and they're uh, really good people and they just want to help you out the best way they best way that they can. So these are my fellow peer advisors right here, my peeps. Um, so I'm not in this photo. I had a basically a mandatory lab to go to when they took this photo, but I am there in spirit. So uh, basically, if you need any help and you feel like... Uh, you want to talk to someone that's lived it and uh, the advisors, they're great. But if you want to talk to someone your own age and just kind of converse back and forth, we're happy to help. We do change of college. Um, and if you ask us a question that we don't know, we'll try our best to figure it out and we'll work with you and we got your back. So I'm going to let Christina do her little thing and we'll tell you what Berkeley Engineering is all about. Hey guys, my name is Cristina Liveretto. I am a senior in mechanical engineering and I come from Greece. During my time at Berkeley, I've been involved in numerous activities such as competition clubs. I am in a club called STAR. We make rockets and compete every year. And I've also been involved in research for many years. After I graduate, I'm planning on continuing at Berkeley for my PhD. So what does it mean to be a Berkeley engineer? It means that you can connect with other students. We have hundreds of clubs around campus, and you're sure to find one that fits your interests. Specifically at the College of Engineering, we have many competition clubs that give you hands-on experience on everything you've learned in the classroom. On the left in the photo, you can see my own club, SAR, so that's a rocket that we have made and competed with. You can also innovate and introduce new technologies into whatever field interests you more. You can also explore. All of the following pictures were taken at students study abroad where they went to a different country to take classes or do research during the semester. I studied abroad in Paris last summer to do research and I had an amazing experience. I loved France. And now I'll hand the baton over to Sharon, our resident in material sciences and engineering peer advisor who will be telling you all about student life here and on campus housing. Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Xia and I'm a peer advisor like everyone else. Um, let me provide some background about myself. I'm a third year material science major and minor in EEX. My current concentration of field is semiconductor materials, as you can kind of see from my major and minor. And in terms of extracurricular, I've been doing research for nanomaterials on campus, and I'm also a part of the Material Science and Engineering Association. I'm an international student, um, originally from Taiwan. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about student life. So um, you guys probably know that Berkeley is a public university. So as a public university, we have a lot of different resources to offer due to our large student population. And we also um, have a lot of sports facilities and programs. So our recreational sports facilities, um, they offer fitness gyms and like treadmills, weight training rooms, and you know different fields like basketball courts, et cetera. There's also a program called the group exercise. So basically they offer free classes for students to join. Um, throughout the day, for example, like yoga classes, HIIT classes, and um, what else? Oh, like cardio dancing. Yeah, that one is fun. So there's really a lot of things to do in Berkeley. And since Berkeley is in the Bay Area, we're really close to San Francisco, right? 
So, you know, like the city hub, you know, it takes you 30 to 40 minutes to get to San Francisco city center. And a lot of, a lot of students, they choose to um, hang out with their friends in San Francisco and enjoy their lives during the weekend. It's really a, an amazing place in terms of a student town. So on-campus housing is currently guaranteed for first-year students, which is a good thing for you guys. So you guys don't have to worry about finding housing and sorting out that kind of stuff. Um, here we have some, some of our residential halls listed. And let's pick a few to talk about. Oh, yeah, Foothill. So I used to live in Foothill when I was in freshman. And um, it's the nearest dorm to the engineering campus, like engineering, engineering part of the campus. I actually love it a lot. It has a great view. Like you can actually see the sunset when you're in the And if you want to find out more information, I recommend you to go to the housing website. And um, next, decals. Um, this is a really special program, but basically those are like um, fun classes taught by the students. And some of the examples of decal includes web design and um, like bioprint. If you're interested or if you're passionate about teaching and there's like a specific subject area that you think um, the school doesn't offer, you can just go ahead and create your own course and you know kind of be the own professor and teach the other students about the the area you're interested in. So um, this is like. One really awesome thing about Cal, like we really, we really um, value students, student experience and student knowledge, and we encourage them to share their knowledge to their community. And this is embedded in our spirit. Next, weather. Um, as you can see on the graph, we have a perfect weather, like very good weather. It's almost always sunny here. We have very little rain, and um, if you're from the East Coast, you'll be surprised about how warm my winter is here. And okay, this is my last slide. Why we love Berkeley? Um, as I share with you guys, you know we have a large, diversified student community. We have an an inclusive culture, and um, we really, you know, like uh, honestly. People here are really chill, you know. Uh, if you say hi to someone randomly in the campus, you'll just say hi, hi back to you. So, by the way, if you see me on campus, like somehow, please say hi to me. I'll definitely say hi back to you. And oh, we also have a lot of world class faculties. We also really encourage um, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial spirit, as um, some of my other colleagues might share with you before. We have a lot of different startup accelerating programs and yeah so cal spirit um we're all in this together um we have like a saying go bears because bears like oski bears is like our mascot people are really you know we're, we're a huge community and we're a really diversified community too but um i think there's some kind of vibe in all of us like we're all really supportive and we're all really, you know, backing each other. And this is one thing that I really love about Cal too. Like you'll, although the comp um, the environment is really competitive, you'll never feel alone because we're all like together. I'm also really excited to see you um, on campus, maybe in the future. And as I said, if you happen to see me on campus, please say hi to me. Thanks for watching my session and let's move on. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm a fourth year bioengineering student here at UC Berkeley. Today I'll be taking you through the Berkeley engineering admissions process, but before we begin, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about myself. In addition to being a peer advisor for the College of Engineering for the past two years, I'm also a member of a number of other organizations here on campus. I've been a member of the University of California Marching Band, otherwise known as the Cal Band, for the past four years, and I'm also a member of the Bioengineering Honor Society and the Society of Women Engineers. In addition to this, I've done undergraduate research in a research lab on campus for the past two years, um, where I'm involved in biomechanics research investigating um, impact to the hip and how that affects the femur bone. During my summers here, 
I've done a study abroad program in Toronto, Canada. I've taken summer classes here at UC Berkeley, and I've done an internship at Medtronic, um, one of the largest medical device companies in the world. Following my graduation this May, I plan on returning full time to Medtronic as an R&D medical device engineer. So let's get started on the Berkeley engineering admissions process. So the main thing to know about UC Berkeley admissions is that it's a holistic review process. So what this means is they're not just looking at your GPA and your test scores from high school. They also want to know who you are as a person and what makes you passionate about engineering. So this is how you can express yourself through those essays on the UC application. So here's everything that they're looking for um, on the admissions committee. So in addition to those test scores, grades, and AP courses, they want to know your extracurricular activities and what makes you passionate. So I'll talk a little bit about my own personal admissions experience. So my GPA and test scores did not exactly meet the averages that UC Berkeley typically accepts for freshman applicants. So I decided to apply anyways because I wanted to give it a shot and give it my best effort. So what I did to make up for um, what I lacked in GPA and test scores is I put a lot of time into my UC application essays. So what I did through these essays was I really showed a lot of interest in the school and bioengineering, and I also showed what made me passionate and who I am through my activities in high school, what I was involved in with volunteering, and everything I did related to engineering. And I think that's what really helped me gain admission into UC Berkeley and some other UC schools. So definitely, definitely apply if you're interested, even if you don't have those GPA and test scores, because you never know what they're looking for in their applicants. So here are just some numbers. So UC Berkeley College of Engineering has about an 8.5 admissions rate, 4.55 average rated GPA. And then here are our numbers for the average um, number of females and international students that are accepted. So here are just some additional resources that we'd like to offer to all of our prospective and admitted students um, if you want to learn a little bit more about Berkeley Engineering and UC Berkeley as a whole. So these are really good websites to go and check out if you want any more info about the school. So we'd like to thank you so much for joining us for this presentation, and we really hope it's been helpful in helping you get to know UC Berkeley and the College of Engineering as a whole. As always, please reach out if you have any questions at all, and we're happy to help out. Thank you. Hello again, and welcome back to the team. Thank you for attending this virtual presentation, and if you have any questions for us, our contact information will be listed on the next page. We look forward to seeing you all at UC Berkeley next fall, and go Bears! Oh,